What kind of tires are you running on this thing? On the front, I'm running Nitto G555s, and then on the rear, I run Sumi Tomos. What do you have underneath that hood? Underneath the hood, just an old 355 small block Chevy. So still a two-piece rear main seal, still all cast iron head, cast block. Got an EFI Holly kit on it, and a mild cam, and a little bit of head work. So are you planning on getting your drift license? Yeah, I would like to get into competition, especially in this chassis. That'd be a real goal of mine. You know, you know Drift Slayer? Yeah, yeah. He had that truck. He came out. Yeah, and there's a lot of guys. I think Scotty, Scotty D, remembers a guy that actually got his drift license with the truck. Okay. Hell yeah, yeah. That would definitely be. A, that's a goal of mine. Definitely compete and get my license. Right. I'd like to make that happen. There's a lot of influence out there. Oh, great. And I did all the sheet metal work as well. So the whole trans tunnel, the firewall got rebuilt. Pushed the engine back, and then yeah, good old Sparkle seats I found on offer up. Oh wow, great. And uh, it's got a T56, so a six-speed training. Oh, great. And that helps out a lot. And then going to the rear end, we have a Curry housing, Curry axles with a strange center section based off of Ford 9. And Willwood brakes all the way around. That is so awesome. You found those on offer up. That is awesome. Yeah, they're actually in perfect condition when I got them. And I got the 7.4 in the clubs. Wow. And they're true Sparkos. They're just out of date. They're from 08. Oh, okay, great. But yeah, I'd love, I mean... Any way I can save a buck and kill something myself, I'm all about it. That's cool. My name is Cody. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. This is my LS2 power, 36. Got a LS2 out of a GTO, T56, 6 speed transmission. Uh, PRC LS3 heads and a fast 102 uh, square port intake. I don't know, 400, 500 horsepower, somewhere in between there. Uh, I run fairly skinny tires, but the trailing arms on these cars, they let you rocket ship without needing a whole lot of rubber. No nitrous. A lot of this is very basic, friendly, simple. Uh, yeah. Nothing crazy, nothing that I can't really get parts for. Very user friendly. Go to Garagistic for all your parts? I bought a couple things from Garagistic. Um, I didn't know about them when I was doing some stuff for this. Uh, so. 
I bought axle spacers and uh, the uh, stiffener, stiffener brackets and uh, plates. So, yep. Uh, actually, I got a, I got a uh, spark plug wire on here that Rome gave me at Desert Mayhem three about three or two and a half three years. Excellent. Ago. Rome's in Colorado today. Too. Yeah, he, he saved me uh, on my number uh, eight, my number eight uh, spark plug wire. Mustang, uh, FDF angle kit, bought it as a shell, rebuilt the motor, put it in, bought a tranny, bought it as just a total rolling shell, no seats, no interior, nothing. Just kind of just been building it slowly here and there, you know. Got did you, coilovers on did it. you put the cage in it? Cage, tube front, um, well the diff, kind of an 8.8, .8, took over at 355 gear, plate terminator. The hydraulic inline inline e brake. Seats with some harness. You know, basic grip stuff. So you guys spent the night out here. How was that? Not bad. It was actually really nice because it was colder. So you couldn't do that in Phoenix. You'd be sweating the whole time. But wow. Nice breeze. So it was nice. Yeah, good.